Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now one of the questions I get asked a lot is actually from uh, parents or perhaps you know guardians or, or people basically with kids in their lives that love video games and they want to be able to direct that energy and uh, essentially ask how do I help my kid get into game development or into the games industry and that's what this whole video is going to be about so let's go if you've landed on this video your first question might be you know why uh, who are you and why why are you telling me about how to get my kid into the games industry and well um i've been in recruiting for about 10 years within the tech industry and about four years or more of that have been within games so i've worked with some amazing teams in the industry um teams that make games like fortnite rocket league fifa battlefield uh, and need for speed just to, just to name a few and because i'm in uh, recruiting i'm often advising about uh, careers and, and these ideas that i'll run through today are just a compilation of um pieces of advice that i've given to people that i just want to put in one video because like i said at the start i get asked a lot about this and so this should hopefully give you a guide and also i want to say that i say it's for kids to get into the games industry honestly you could be uh, a fully fledged adult and thinking about a career move or just learning the hobby in your spare time and, and for that i think there could be some advice here too for many parents the games industry isn't necessarily the first thing they think when they they think about uh which direction to put their their child into but honestly it's an incredibly rewarding and fast growing industry it's this combination of uh, the arts and sciences that um can lead almost anyone into finding a place in this industry um and yeah it's uh if you think of it just from purely uh an opportunity and business point of view uh it's the games industry now is bigger than uh, music and film combined so it's a great place uh, for um, yeah, finding work having a great career and learning so many new skills I would also like to ask that if you are a game developer please comment below your story of how you got into the industry and whether you think my advice is helpful or perhaps I missed something and, and you have a good tip that you want to, to provide as well and lastly before we actually get into the uh the the tips and advice i want to talk about today i would say that uh, i'm i'm kind of focusing on game development uh such as programming game design art um and, and all the other aspects that are there to, i guess in the in the creative roles but here i am uh someone who works in uh the people team or hr and and in the industry and i absolutely love it so there's so many so many jobs um that uh, across the industry that are unnecessarily tied directly to game development but um yeah i'll link to another video di i did and how i got into the industry and you might find that useful too so i think the first thing is that to help them build this like critical mindset towards games um get them to diversify the types of games that they play or if they have a game that they really really love and they play a lot start getting them to think about um how they could critique it how would they personally improve the game what do they love about the game and what do they think the game could do better um this mindset is really going to kickstart them into just thinking about like um game creation and why game designers and game developers uh you know why do they build the games in the way that they they do every thing about a game is is purposeful it's not just you know oh there we go this came in existence and um you know everything from the art style to like how you walk and how you move and uh just anything about the game it, there's always there's always a reason behind it so get them to start thinking critically about video games my first bit of advice is to do something simple like uh take a board game so we're going to move away from the digital for the moment um take your kid's favorite board game and ask them to um edit it um Perhaps it might be like something like uh, snakes and ladders, or even something as simple as this that I've got um, playing in the background. Ask them to create create their own version of it, and start modifying it. I think the key thing here is getting them to create something, but also get others to play it and and get them to iterate on this idea of like they're finding the fun. Um, 
like w what elements work like i don't know you've got like on one square it transports you to another one or maybe you've got a trap on on a different square or like whatever it is like get them to add all these elements create a game it may even just be copying a game like snakes and ladders and just making their own version of it just get them started in some way thinking about these game elements and and getting feedback from others in terms of how they can improve it um this is a fantastic way to just get started and i guess that scientific method uh towards uh, game development my next bit of advice and and this is usually the most common bit of advice i'd give is that get your kid to play games that already have game development or game creation features uh, within them um to give you some examples fortnite which is the one playing in the in the background right now um, Super Mario Maker, Roblox, Minecraft, all of these have game creation elements um, within them. And uh, yeah, it just allows a, a tool for um, you know, people to get creative and, and build and also really importantly share with a community. So your kid can try out other creations to get ideas or they can just get started and build something themselves. Um, it's definitely, I, I think, a great way uh, to get started. I think about many of the the people in the games industry that uh, you know got their footing and it usually tended to be in like modding in some way and definitely now that like, these games are going to be the i think the foundation for game developers uh to come um and uh, and people can get really uh advanced with this and obviously create content and all that stuff but anyway not getting too far ahead just get your kid to be building something and, and getting ideally even building something like this where it's like a real game that they can actually go around and 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 experience so i think a great next step from here is to go one step deeper into game creation uh, and i think start exploring game engines now game engine if you're not familiar is just a piece of software or technology that allows people to create games but in more depth um behind me here i've actually got um uh something called core which uh, is designed to be um like an easy access and easy to use uh, piece of technology to allow people to create games and there's a great community as well around that so you can go try out other games too so this is unreal engine or at least um a, a demo uh that came out last year from that and and this is uh, a free to use game engine that some of the biggest and best game studios and games in the world use um that said you can still with no knowledge of programming or really minimal knowledge of game development there's still um uh, enough tutorials out there to to get you started and, and looking into it um i think if you're at the point you're looking at game engines you're looking at um getting this far this is great like unreal engine and other game engines like uh, unity they're taught at universities and in game development courses and, th and this is great like if you've been building up towards this point and, and looking at engines and what you create like here in the background is is an example of, of the quality you can create and also um game engines like unreal are now being used widely across like hollywood and vfx too so learning these skills has a, a real wide variety of uses and yeah just as a as a skill to get into the job market and build a career it's it's fantastic Switching gears, I guess, slightly, is that we've been talking about uh, game development, but I think having skilled in um, like digital art skills are also incredibly Im important. I've got here um, a clip in the background of someone using a tool called ZBrush, and this is a sculpting tool, a digital sculpting tool um, to allow people to, to create, yeah, 3D art. Um, and so you, you may, uh, yeah, I, I would say if you have a kid who's like more leaning on the art side, hey, they can definitely learn programming. If you've got someone who's like uh, loving more on the programming, get them to learn art. Like uh, games are very much this combination of art and te uh, technology. Um, and so, yes, uh, learning digital art skills can also be incredibly important, especially when it comes to the game development process. So I think uh, once that come to mind, you've got uh, ZBrush here. You've also got tools like Blender and Maya, and, and there's plenty of others. Um, but they, um, yeah, if, if again, fueling that curiosity, they might be interested in looking into this. My next tip here is a very advanced one. Uh, on my screen, I've got an example of the programming language C++ being used within Unreal Engine. 
Uh, C++ is widely used across the games industry, especially when it comes to PC and console games for um, what we call AAA. AAA just means uh, very big budget um, video games. So um, C++ is, is notoriously like quite difficult uh, to learn, but um, when it comes to programming skills and getting into those types of uh, games and studios, it's get really going to be key. So pl again, plenty of courses online. Um, this is at the point where you're getting um, very advanced in, in game development and really want the power of being able to edit and, and build something uh, for your own. And the final topic I want to talk about is education and, um, and the best route into the games industry from there. Um, there are ways to, to be self-taught. There are plenty of people who have got into the industry in so many different ways. You ask a thousand people in the games industry, they'll give you a thousand different answers about how they got into there. My, my best advice, at least this is in my opinion, um, is that to, to get a degree and go into game development through university. I think if you can figure that out when you're like 17, 18 and you're thinking, you know, finishing high school and it's uh, about that time, uh, fantastic because the reason why universities are great and especially game development courses of course they're teaching the direct skills that you will need for a start that's the obvious one but also look for universities that really have a fantastic careers program and um, will help uh, students get, uh, gain internships and get real world experience um, there are some brilliant universities I'm, I'm based in the UK so I'm thinking of those that uh, the courses uh, have plenty of game games industry folks to come in and help teach and uh, there's um, courses that have three six twelve month internships um, in as part of that as well and, and also when it comes to the end um, of that degree you've got a degree great um, do they have a career service to help you then start into a full-time role um, I think but yeah like I said it's definitely possible to get into game development without uh, you know a bachelor's degree but I think if you are um, if you can get one and, and you know it's definitely it's gonna help a lot it's a really competitive um, industry and I think any way that you can give yourself an advantage is, is obviously the best thing to do and there we have it I hope you found that advice useful um, if you have any questions at all just comment below and I'll be happy to respond um, and I'm wishing you and any of the people in your life who would love to get into game development or move into the games industry the very best of luck. Uh, like I said, I love it. I know that many, many people do. And um, and like I said, it's competitive. So I, I just really wishing you the best of luck into to getting into the industry. And um, hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.